Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning, my title is called A School's Lifeline is Withdrawn. But before I continue, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you. Also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay. I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything that's happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. Right, I also would like to explain for anyone who's seen my video for the first time, I'd like to explain to you that everything happens spiritually before it does here on earth or in the physical realm. And so what I'm trying to say is nothing can happen here on earth unless it's first happened spiritually. And so this is how the Lord has allowed me to hear what is to come before it does. Okay, right. I also would like to do a short prayer with you. I also, can, you know, can hear in my spirit a song and the song is singing, the storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. Hallelujah. You know, I'm feeling in my spirit as though the storm is raging against the people of God. The enemy is trying to attack. But, you know, no weapon that is formed against the people of God shall ever prosper. You know, God's covering and protection is upon his people. His eyes are upon his people as well as the wicked. And so no weapon that is formed, that is fashioned against the people of God shall prevail. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I thank you this morning. I thank you, O oh God, because you are God. You see and you know everything, O oh God. Lord Jesus, nothing is outside of you, Lord, Lord God. Nothing is beyond you, O oh God. You see and you know everything, Lord Jesus. Father God, I thank you for this morning. I pray, God, that you will use me. Use me as always, O oh God, to speak of your word, O oh God. Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray. I pray, God, that you will sit with me this morning that you will speak through me and let your will be done in the name of Jesus father God I pray as always for your children may your blessings may your peace be upon your people right now in the name of Jesus I pray Father, I pray for every soul, Lord God, that will receive you this morning. I pray, God, that you will ace in their footsteps in the name of Jesus, uh, that they will receive you today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Right. As I've said this morning, my title is called, called A School's Lifeline is Withdrawn or Taken Away. On the 9th of July, 22, I had a vision where I saw a school having financial difficulties. It's as though they were low on resources, on resources and other things. It's as though their lifeline has been pulled or has been plugged. Then in the vision, I saw the people that were in charge, that were running the school. They were feeling disappointment they were feeling disappointed this is what you know the Lord is allowing me to see tough times are ahead for this school you know I don't know if the Lord was showing me one school you know to symbolize what is to come for many other schools I'm not sure but this is what the Lord is showing me because sometimes it will use it to show you what is to come 
for others, for other schools, but I'm not sure at this time, but this is what I've seen. This is what the Lord has allowed me to see of what is to come for this school. So I've seen one school and I don't know if it will, if it applies to other schools, but I can see that tough times are ahead for this particular school. And so brethren, let us pray as always. Let us pray that God will have mercy. These are challenging times that we are facing at this time. And so, you know, we can only continue and should only continue to trust in God and to seek him in everything that we do. God shows us these things, you know, that we can take steps. We can, you know, take precaution when we are faced with these things. And so when we know, when we're ahead of the situation that is to come, then we can make plans. You know, spiritually, this has taken place, awaiting the manifestation here in the physical realm. And so God is showing that we can, you know, move upon it. We can act upon what he's showing us at this time. Okay, these are my few words for today. But I would like to say if there's anyone who don't know Jesus as their personal savior, I want to encourage you this morning to do so before it's too late for you. Tomorrow is not promised to you. It's not promised to any of us. And you could die in your sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you this morning to seek the Lord today before it's too late for you. There are also those who... They were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage you this morning to receive the Lord again, to turn to him before it's too late for you. What will it profit you to gain this whole world and to lose your soul? And so I want to encourage you this morning to seek the Lord again before it's too late for you. There are also those who are still professing the faith but they are lukewarm. They have one foot in and one foot out, still doing the things of this world and the things of God. I want to encourage you also to turn to the Lord again, to seek him in truth, remembering that we are representing Christ Jesus. We are representing a king. And so let us walk worthy you know, separate yourself from the things of this world. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are a kingdom people. And so let us live a life that is pleasing and that is worthy and that is acceptable unto God, that others may see and desire to be a part of the kingdom of God remembering that we are in end times we are in the last days and god is returning he is returning he will return and so let us live a life that is pleasing and that is worthy unto him the word of the lord tells us that for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him that they should not perish they will not perish, but that they will have eternal life. And that eternal life will come through Christ Jesus. Okay, these are my few words for today. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.